Welcome back everyone. Just wanted to go over this wavy cut problem again. Um, if you watched the last video, I kind of gave you bad information because Woodmiser gave me bad information. Uh, after the, before I posted the video, I talked to Timberly, um, which also produces the exact identical meal, the Timberly M100 as the LX25. Apparently Woodmiser bought into them. They're building the same meal. Timberly's been around for a long time building them. The only difference is they got a four foot track instead of a five foot track sections. So I'm going to go through this wavy cut problem again and uh, I'll show you what I got here. So for starters, here is the email I got back from Timberly. The decal on the machine is wrong. What's on the video is correct. If you have a torque wrench, set it to 42 foot pounds. That's what the uh, <clears throat> the nut here is supposed to be. You run it down to 42 foot pounds. I actually put a torque wrench on mine. I do not didn't bring it home with me today, uh, but I'll torque it down a little bit. Then I'll come around and spin it. Make sure the blades seating in and uh, everything looks good there. Differential on the back. So once you get your fork, once you get your torque wrench on it, and you run it down, the plate will be flush with it. So then take your little Allen nut and set it so it just comes through the hole, and that gives you a quick reference as well. You can see it. So like I said, this ply card on the mill is incorrect. Um, you want the thing flush, just like the Timberly and the Woodmiser videos as the explanation shows you. So once you get that done, I'll come around and uh, spin it again. Check your distance on your blade. Once you get the proper torque on your blade, I found out mine was running too far forward. The blade was wanting to come off. Um, so you go back around, don't be afraid to adjust it. I put a little Sharpie mark on my adjustment nuts so I could turn them just a quarter of a turn at a time and I actually adjusted them with it just about at tension. Then I go to full tension on it and spin it again to make sure the tracking, the wheel, the band was staying on the wheels properly. That's something you want to look at. If you're having height adjustment problems, when you set up your um, cables, you lift cables on the thing. Here, here's your adjustment. Run this one up or down to get your uh, your proper height. But also, some the problem I had is watch how your cables wrap around on both sides. You want them wrapping the same direction on both sides and going out, so your cables are kind of doing the same thing. If you don't get that, um, one side of your blade will be half an inch higher than the other side. So that's something you might want to look at too. Also, I took the little nuts they had on the bottom of the guide on this side, put a, a really flush carriage bolt in there so I can cut right down to three quarters of an inch. And that'll, that'll let you clear. The heads here it's right between three quarters and seven eighths so you don't have to cut a, a one inch cut on your last one also make sure you set your stops on both sides once you get your height distance right measure set your stops on both sides when you drop it all the way down that your your blade to the bed is going to be the same length on both sides. That way you get a good square cut. Um, one other problem I ran into is if you're not getting a good cut, um, get your little throttle flipper here. When you run it up, when you squeeze your handle, make sure your throttle is going all the way in. See if I can get it here. When I squeeze my handle, I still, I can push the little 
throttle and I'm still getting, I need to adjust it again. I'm still not quite getting full throttle. You just take the stop nuts loose on both sides of here, pull the cable back a little bit, run the nuts in, and uh, that'll give you your full throttle. So if you're not getting full throttle, that could be a problem. Well, hope this helps out a little bit. This will just be a short, quick video, but this is a correction for the last video I made. Like I said, Woodbizer gave me wrong information. So make sure you get a torque wrench if you can get one. Put a torque wrench on it. If not, just run the plate down flush, and that should be right on the money. Everybody have good luck. Enjoy cutting, and come back next time.